Welcome to the Helix Control-M Automation API Deploy Descriptor video. In this video, you will learn how to change job properties with Automation API using a Deploy Descriptor file, as well as deploying the jobs in a different environment. The Deploy Descriptor is a JSON file, where you can define changes to the properties in your job definitions. Let's assume that in your organization, your workflow standards are to define and test folders and jobs in a development environment before running them in a production environment. After you complete testing, your folder and job definitions need to be transferred to the production environment and updated to the production standards. Let's see how we can use the Deploy Descriptor to copy your jobs to your production environment and make changes to your job definitions in the copy. Let's take financeflow.json which is the output of an automation API get command as a sample folder and job that we want to deploy. We want to change the folder name and job name to say prod instead of dev. Similarly, we must change the host name to prod host because that is the host in the production environment. In our development environment, we were running jobs as a different user than the user in the production environment. So, we need to update the run as job attribute to prod admin. For our purposes, we have created a deploy descriptor JSON file, which we call finance descriptor. Let's take a look at the file. In our deploy descriptor file, we created an array containing objects for each of the properties that we want to change. Each object contains the following. Comment explains what the object does, Property defines the job property that you want to change. Replace or assign defines how you want the property changed. In the folder and job names, we want to replace dev with prod to comply with the naming standard on the production environment. Because the host will be different on the production environment, we need to replace dev with prod in the name of our host. For the run as parameters, we're changing the run as user to that of the production environment. The first thing we want to do with our deploy descriptor is verify the file's structure. To do so, run the ctm build command that includes the name of our deploy descriptor. We see that the file is valid. The next thing we want to do is test that the deploy descriptor will do what we want it to do on our folder and job. In this step, we are not yet deploying the folder and job. To test the deploy descriptor on the file, we run the ctm deploy transform command that includes our deploy descriptor and the folder and job file, finance underscore flow dot json. We see that the deploy descriptor performs as expected. We are now ready to change the properties and deploy the folder and job to the production environment. To do so, we run the ctm deploy command. The E flag defines the environment where the workspace should be deployed. The CLI returns to us that the folder and job were successfully deployed. The last thing we want to do after deploying the folder and job is to check that they do appear in the production environment. To do so, run the ctm deploy command with the get parameter. And the following is returned. This informs us that the folder and job appear in the production environment with the correct properties. This concludes our Helix Control-M Deploy Descriptor video. In this video, we learned how to use a Deploy Descriptor file from the automated API CLI to change job properties in JSON format and move jobs between environments. For more use cases and usage information, refer to the documentation. Thank you for watching this video.